Hello guys and welcome back to the King Cast Gaming channel. I am your host King aka Ryan here bringing you the episode one of our Pokemon Heart Gold randomized Nuzlocke and I'm excited for this although the emulator is lagging a little bit that's not going to stop us from playing the game. If you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke is let me explain it to you guys in a couple of few steps. You can only catch the first Pokemon in each new route. If you fail to catch it you can't catch another one. Any Pokemon that you do catch you have to nickname and if a pokemon dies or faints in the game you can no longer use it it is considered dead and you either put it in the pc or release it altogether and you win the game by beating the champion simple as that also i want you guys' opinion on something do you think we should go all the way to red because a lot of people consider red to be the true final champion in this game the final boss so if you guys could give this video 20 likes, then I will go all the way to Kanto and I will fight Red for my first time because I've never played this game all, all the way through. So with all that out of the way, let's get started with the actual video. Now this will be a little bit laggy and I apologize for that. I'll try to optimize the settings in a future video, but you guys voted. And now, we get to select our starters. And the Pokemon with the most votes was Bellsprout. Okay, I'm kidding. It was Grimer. So let's get this poison type Grimer. And look, the Grimer's following us. I would like to give Grimer a nickname. Yes, I do. So I did see a good nickname that I really enjoyed for Grimer, and so I'm gonna call it Goops. Goops the Grimer. Yeah, the emulator is gonna run fast and it's gonna run slow for a little while, guys. Yep, I'm gonna name this thing Goops. All right. Um, how do you like walking your Pokemon? It's not bad, isn't it? Nah, that's not good. All right, take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. All right, he has a machine to heal. Let's go past Cherry Grove. All right. And then this guy, what is he gonna do? He wants you to have these help you with your task. Ooh, we got potion. Okay, I always get to have potions. All right, so I think we have to go tell our mom that we're gonna go on an adventure. Oh look, and it's just, just that guy right there. King, you picked the grammar. That's such a cute Pokemon to have. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's just his eyes. He's just staring at me menacingly. All right. When you walk with it, you'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show your mom? See ya. Yeah. All right. I guess we have to go show our mom. Goops the grammar. So let's go talk to this grammar first. Let's see what you have to say. He's questioning his life decisions. He's sniffing me. Okay. Let's go let our mom know that we got a toxic Pokemon. We'll probably get radiation sickness, but it's okay. As long as we beat the champion. Okay, well, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor L must have given to you. Yeah. I still can't read. Well, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? Blah, blah, blah. I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. I guess we broke our Poke Gear. Typical. All right, King received the Poke Gear. It's gonna be a long episode. It is gonna be one hour of power, and this episode will be premiered. So, hi, chat. How are you guys doing? Uh, yes, I remember. I, I pick no, but it's okay. All right, let's let's now walk out of here. You see, that's no speed up, and this is with speed up. All right, yo, wait a second. All right, so this guy's just running to me. 
I almost completely forgot about this. Here. I'll give you my number. How convenient we get his number after we get our Poké Nap. Our Poké Gear. I'm thinking Gen 3. And isn't Gen 3, isn't it called the Dex Snap? Oh, actually, that's for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It's a Dex Snap. All right, Route 29. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's, let's walk into the grass. Ooh. This is pretty good. Now what? Okay, I'm gonna use Pound. Slaying a store. Killing this thing will give me good experience. Can I get poison? Yeah. Screech, but it missed. Alright, just keep missing like that. Tyranitar was poison. And Tyranitar is hurt. Alright, cool. Sandstorm again. Imagine this being our first encounter. All right, just gonna keep using. Oh, the screech lands. I should be a little scared. Pound does nothing, but it's put. Two more turns. It's. Does it only have screech and sandstorm? All right, one more turn. I should be able to. Ooh. Wonder Guard. Did you guys see that? Okay, then this Goops is broken. I repeat, Goops is broken. All right, let's keep making our way downtown. So we essentially cannot be touched by most typings. In fact, they can only be touched by Psychics and Ground. That is crazy. I still need to be mindful though, because there might be Pokemon who are not of the Psychic and Ground type who have Psychic and Ground type moves. Like Porygon. I did not know Porygon had Side Beam or Side Wave and it killed my Makuhita on my Leaf Green. I was like, ah, oh, this thing should be able to uh, kill the Porygon. It's not like it has anything that can hit me super effective. And as I say that, it hits me with the Side Wave or Side Beam. Well, Lickitung. I mean, you could get Licky Licky in this game. I've never had a Licky Licky, so I don't even know how to evolve it. I feel like Licky Licky is like. I feel like Licky Licky is like a uh, very. very, uh. bulky. But I wouldn't know. I've only had a Licky Licky to complete the Pokedex. Yeah, so how's your day been going, guys? In the chat or in the premiere? How are you guys doing? So far at the time of recording, I just woke up. But I know that Future King just got out of work. And he's probably watching the premiere back. Hey, Future Me, if you're in the premiere, leave um, I am here in the premiere chat. All right, thank you very much. Yo, this man has speed. Why can't you run without the running? She was like, like really, that's my, my, my real question here. You see how this is running, guys? And that's speed up, too. Alright. And this is just explaining me the town and every facilities. All right, the next route is over there. All right, what's here? It's the sea, as you could see. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. Yes, you are correct. Alright, and this is your house. So why were you just chilling over there just to show us your house? 
Doesn't matter now because we got the running shoes, baby. And we could toggle the running shoes, meaning we could have it always on. So let's do that right now. All right, I'm just gonna do this. Where's my mouse? Cool. So now we can always run, even though it doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go up into this new route. And we're getting stopped again. All right, he made it in time. He forgot. Okay, he just gave us shoes, and now he's giving us a map card and our Poke Gear. What a nice gentleman. They better not be stinky shoes. I wonder what stinks more, the shoes or Grimer? Probably Grimer. Alright, well. Ooh! If we get this as our first encounter. That'll be amazing. With the draw thing, he's just building his defense. Poison gas missed. Tail whip. Alright, poison gas lands, so this guy's gonna be dead soon. Alright. Tail whip won't do much. I mean, won't do anything. As long. As I was just about to say, as long as he doesn't keep going for withdrawals, I should be able to kill this thing soon. Alright. So battles go fast, but the actual physical walking doesn't. Okay. Good to know. So it makes up for it. In a way. Alright, crit. Alright, cool. Good, good job, Goops. Cool, Goops at level 7. And I learned Mudslap. Okay, more coverage. Alright, let's... Alright. Let's see what this encounter is. An Execute. Okay, I feel like this thing might have confusion or something, so I am gonna run away for fear of getting killed. Even though it's level 2. Can, it's better be safe than sorry. Right, let's get this ball real quick. Lacks incense. All right, cool. All right, that could be good. I think that might be able to sell for a pretty good amount of money. And money is good. I could buy more Pokeballs. Yo, this guy just stopped. Was he just waiting for someone to pass by his house just to exit? That creep. All right, before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Nope, I don't. Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. Have one of those trees. It was something Pokeball, Pokeball quite useful. I received the Apricon box. Cool. Neat. Alright. I know we could use the Apricons to get balls from Kurt. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay, yes, there's another Pokemon I'm just gonna run away from. A Hippopotas is a ground type, and I do not want to get hit by ground type moves. Although that would be power to have. A Hippowdon would not be bad at all. Ooh, it's a Crawdon. This would be pretty cool. I'm just going to mud slap to lower the accuracy. Alright, now I'm just going to pound this thing to death. Alright, caught on with the heart in. I believe Mudslap is special, so it's not I'm not gonna be resistant to that. You know, I love that they added a physical special split. They should have done it sooner, to be honest. Looks like Mudslap is physical, but Karana is also dead. All right. Well, let's get this Pokeball. Never melt ice. All right. If you ever get an ice type Pokemon, that's gonna be sick. Is there a Pokemon that evolves while holding the Never Melt Ice? Can't remember who. I don't think so. 
but let's just make our way to Mr. Pokemon here. Alright. Let's see what this is, because just being able to scout what we have in the roads is pretty cool. A Smurgle! And a Nuzlocke, it's alright. Just because you have to sketch every move and it'll only have one move. Not the best Pokemon. And it's faster than me, so it's not even going to have sketch. It's going to kill itself right here. Or oh, the speed time. Whatever it was. Hmm. Alright, we just better make it a Mr. Pokemon soon. A Dodrio, that's pretty cool. The only thing I can hit it is with his pound. Rage. Alright, Dodrio's fainted. So Goops grows to level 8. And we're getting good good levels. We're fighting pretty high level Pokemon or like high evolved state Pokemon. And that's giving us a lot of experience. Come on now. You can get in the dark, get in the dark. Alright. So there's Professor Oak. Who in the intro is wearing a tan suit, now he's just wearing his white lab coat. You must be Keem, I was the one who professor who emailed Professor Elm early. Alright, he's gonna give me the incubated egg. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. King obtained the mystery egg. Alright, cool. Alright, so look, it's Professor. Okay, so he's healing me right now. And now Oak is walking up to us. He's approaching us. Okay, and with that, I'm Professor Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher. So you're King. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon, and I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Aw, oh, he waited for us. And he's talking to Goops. And what's this? A rare Pokemon? Yo, Goops is rare. I'm, I see you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why. Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Yep. Oh, ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically occurs data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Alright, thanks, man. I'll take it. Alright. I like how I was reading each piece of dialogue, and after I got the Pokedex, I was like, alright, I don't want to pay attention anymore. I read something about Goldenrod, though. So can I just walk out of here? Yep. Alright, so Professor Elm is ringing us. He's, he's, he's calling us right now. So I'm going to take a little water break real quick, because I need water. Stay hydrated, kids. All right. Hello, King. Yeah, that's me. It's a disaster on It's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no. Please get back here now. I mean, okay. I guess a disaster happened. All right, come on, goops. Just look at goops. Goops is giving me trauma. It's gonna like give me PTSD after looking at him so much. Just those eyes. A lunatone. Okay, this is psychic, so I'm gonna run away. Alright, cool. I was kinda scared I wasn't able to run away. Alright, next encounter. Another Crota. When they learn Sludge, I need the Poison Stab move. Oh, that was a crit. Alright, Pound. You're dead. Alright. Let's keep going down. Oh, look, it's Youngster Joey. I accidentally clicked off of my emulator, so I couldn't move. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's just hop off this ledge. Could've just gone straight down, to be honest. I don't know why I'm following the road. I'm gonna go heal up because I need PP. Alright, here you go, Mr. J Mr. Joy, Miss Joy. What do we call her? Miss Joy? No, not Miss Joy. Dr. Joy? <laughs> Honestly, I just had a massive brain fart right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. What, what does she address herself as? Good morning. Welcome to Pokemon Center. Nurse Joy, that's what it is. <laughs> I had a massive brain fart. <laughs> Miss Joy. All right, let's go in here. You know, I was thinking Officer, but no, that's Officer Jenny. Let's go speak to this guy and let's sell that incense that we. No, I don't want to. I don't. I want to sell. I don't want to ignore you. All right. Wax incense sells for. Ooh, that's a lot of cash. That never melts. Ice, I will keep. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now that we sold it, we could just come back later and buy some Pokeballs. And our rival arrives. Hmm. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Oh, really? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I'll have to have a good Pokemon. I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's battle this guy. Engineer Crystal. So he picked up the Stantler. And I got my goops. It's all poison you. And of course I miss. All right, let's laugh. Just get that accuracy lowered. And does an all right amount of damage. I think pound will do more. Oh, it crit. This thing, this guy keeps getting crits. All right, yeah, this battle's won. I mean, it always was won, but. All right, Stantler down. And we grew level nine. The only problem with this is that I'm too strong now to damage Pokemon. All right, guy. What? What happened? Why is he stopping? He's looking all around. Okay. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my. Oh, okay. So he dropped his trainer card after we obliterated him. And now we know his identity. Good to know. All right. Let's make our way over here. Never mind, I can't go here. Let's go down this ledge. And let's go on our way to get the Pokeballs. Let's just avoid this whole area here and jump over here. All right, Professor Elm, give me the Pokeballs. Is it Professor Elm who gives us the Pokeballs? I'm not really sure. All right, who are you? We are investigating the case of the, oops. The case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to 
to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Man, this police officer knows his stuff. <laughs> Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. I saw the guy too, but I just didn't talk to him. But I saw him. He's just looking at me. Well, you battled the boy like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did. All right. Well, we're gonna name this guy after my good friend, and I asked him to be my rival, Tom. Although he doesn't have red hair. Actually, yesterday he bleached it blonde. All right, thanks for helping my investigation. Next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. <laughs> All right, you go do that. All right. Okay, I'm glad you understand that you're innocent. I'm glad they understand you're innocent. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I know I'm innocent, right? All right, All right but let's see what the professor says. Okay, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? We gave him the egg. I, I don't understand how an egg is a big discovery, but well, sure, whatever. Must be a rare egg, I guess. What? Oh, gave you poker dice? Yep. All right. I just want to get my Pokeball, so I want the Nuzlocke to start. Challenges the gyms around the region. Tell your mom you're about to leave. All right, cool. So I guess she doesn't give us the Pokeballs. All right. Let's walk in here. I love how we could also run inside buildings. All right, mother. So you're leaving on your adventure? Well, I can't help, uh, blah, blah. I understand for many people's playthroughs that I should click no for this option. Do not let your mom save your money. Spend it all on items. All right, goops. Let's go. This is gonna be our first encounter here. There you are. Yeah, well, I'm here. All right, well, she's gonna go encounter Pokemon. And then they're just jumping along. I guess that's how it looks like when we battle. We just jump. Just like that. That's how you catch Pokemon. Alright, let's see what Pokemon it's randomized into. I should be like a legendary. Oh, it's a whooper. And she has a Corsola. Whooper has slow start. <laughs> HP is down, so it's ready for be caught with the Pokeball. We're gonna have a lot of Pokeballs too in the next round. One, two, three. Alright, Wooper was caught. See, just like that. Better to lower the target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. Alright, our Nuzlocke has officially begun, guys. Let's see how far we make it. All right, first encounter. Let's see what it is. It's a Tyranitar. Okay. That is sick. Now I do have much left to kind of weaken it down. I'm gonna use it once. I doubt this will kill. I am a weak goops. Okay, I could use it like more than once. And having that bite would also be coverage for psychic types. Okay, that's perfect right there. Tyranitar has a low catch rate though, and that's my problem here. At least I know Tyranitar can use a move. 
All right, all right. Please catch. I mean, I caught one of these and emerald. One, two, three. Oh my god, I was like, first ball. Okay, this thing jiggled three times. So I know it's catchable. All right, all right. No speed up, no speed up. One, two, three. Okay, I know I could catch this. This is catchable. I have three more Pokeballs though. That's a thing. Okay, escape first ball. Okay. Please, Sarah, that's our need on my team. One. Oh, I have one more ball left. Please, please, please catch in this last ball. Oh my god, please. I need this on my team. One. Two. Unfortunate. Oh my god. To be fair, I could have used Pound and we can do it a little bit more. But since I was just too scared that I was going to kill this thing. <sighs> Fortunately, it could not be. But we have a lot of items. I mean, a lot of money to buy Pokeballs for the next route. And hopefully we got that Blastoise. What other thing was good in there? I mean, the Hippopotas was good. The only thing is that I'm weak to ground type. And that's literally one of the only two things that could hit me. This wouldn't have been bad though. Houndour? Yeah, it is, you know, lower level than all that. But a Houndour is not bad. Once you evolve that thing into a Houndoom, it's amazing. All right, so let's just go on our way to buy the Pokeballs. We have a couple of encounters over here. Let's just hop off the ledge. I think I'm going to heal up too, just, just to be safe. It's, it's, it's still big sad. I couldn't catch the Tyranitar. It wiggled three times, like two or three times. So it was definitely doable. The luck just was on our side. I kind of wanted to poison it too, but at the it was low health too, so I was kind of didn't didn't want to risk that. It is what it is, guys. We'll see what else we got on the team, but I definitely want to have something that covers either ground or psychic as a weakness, because that would be good to have. Just more type coverage. All right, now let's get them. Let's also buy antidotes too. Cause that's how you use Nuzlocke, guys. Cause you don't have the proper items. So let's talk to you. So let's buy, we could buy 41 Pokeballs. We're not gonna do that. Let's buy 20. All right, I'm not sure how it works in this game. I know in future games, if you buy 20, they do give you tw two Premier Balls, but I'm not sure if it stacks in this game. So I just want to be sure. All right, I actually should buy potions. I have five potions, so I'm going to buy five more. All right, I'm gonna buy three repels. And one paralyze heal. And I still have more money for Pokeballs, so. All right, so I'm gonna buy more Pokeballs right now. Might as well buy 10. We'll have enough Pokeballs to catch whatever we have encountered. Next encounter time. Let's see what it is. 
Please be something good. Please be that... I was gonna say, please be that Bulbasaur. Please be that Blastoise. Okay. This is not bad at all. My only thing is, I'm gonna kill it with Pound because I'm too strong. So I'm actually gonna go for Poison Guy. This is a risky play, but it's pretty much my only chance of damaging it, and it will have status, which will make it easier to catch. And then I have the antidote to secure it once I catch her. Ooh, okay. If, if I would have known it had Growl, I could have just waited for it to Growl me all the time, but that's beside the point. We have a lot of balls. We could catch this. It's not a bad encounter at all. It's a fully evolved Pokemon, and I'll take that. What? Okay, that's it. Yeah, that Wonder Guard is saving me right now. Alright, I know it's shaking. I should probably wait until it's in the orange, to be fair. It's not just waste balls, but one, two, three. Never mind. Cool. Do Drio add that to the team? And it's in that Pokedex. The Triple Bird Pokemon. Now, this Dodrio, I'm gonna name this. Emma. That was the first thing that popped up. Emma the Dodrio. So, let's, let's go check its. Actually, I should also check Goops' nature. So, mild. Which is down in physical defense, up in special. So, not the best. But, considering I have Wonder Guard, I'm not gonna get hit very often. Next up, we have a docile nature with the rivalry. Okay. So, raises attack if the foe is of the same gender. That's pretty, pretty good. A neutral nature. And I do have a pretty decent moveset already. Have stab and quick attack and pecs. So I have priority. Let me heal, let me heal Emma up. Because we did buy the antidote. So let's, where's my, where am I? No, I want to go here. All right, let's use on Emma. And I'll be switch training Emma. Just because I want Emma to grow levels. All right, so sw no, no. Sometimes it lags and sometimes it doesn't. I guess it doesn't lag in this many. Which is good to know. Look at that, now the drill's falling off. Let's go fight Youngster Joey, because I know he's up here. With his top percentage Rattata. Well, I should actually be a Rattata too. Alright. Okay, the Hippopotas. This shouldn't have anything really to damage me, so I could be able to grind this up off of this. Sanity. Okay. All I do know is... Okay. This thing is pretty offensive. Tackle. And I just kind of want to run away. Because I'm, I'm scared that he has a ground type. So I don't want to risk this. I'm playing this extra cautious. I don't care. I go for another peck, and I miss the peck. Sand attack again. All right, this thing keeps sand attacking us. We still keep landing though. Could live one more tackle. Misses. Alright, cool. Just use another potion. He's not using any ground type moves, but as long as like someone's looking it up, apparently. So looks like we're good. We don't have a ground type move on this thing, so we can just switch out. Cool. Let's just use pound on this. And it's dead. All right, Emma level three, Goops level 27. I mean, group 27 experience, sorry. All right, next encounter, 
even though it's not something we can catch. Another go. I'm gonna switch out. I think can't touch us, so just goops can take this thing out. That growl is kind of coming to play, but we still managed to kill it. So it's fine. I mean, we need repels. That is what it is, though. Keep finding more Dodrios. Watch us find a shiny. That's what I really want. Just can't wait for the day I find a shiny in a, in a Let's Play episode. We get 20 minutes still on the clock, dude. That's insane. What did I get myself into? Alright, by the time I finish this episode, I'll have to get ready for work. The crit. Alright. I'm a level 4. Goop's still level 9, which is a pretty good level. Right, I'm not... So this is Youngster Joey. Actually, no, I think that one's Youngster Joey. I'm not really sure. Our first real Pokemon battle outside of the rival fight. Alright, he has a Magma. I'm just gonna switch out. Goops is a safe option. Goofs is a very safe option. Leer, that's fine. Leer me all you want. Just mud slap. Leer again? Alright, cool. Mud slap would not only make a man. Ooh, speed time. Alright. Mud slap again. It should kill probably. Yep. Well, Magmar has been taken down. Emma's level 5. Goop's level 10. And we keep on moving. Ah, uh, sure. Get my number out, okay. I know there's a patch of grass up here, and there's also a cave. We could get another two encounters, and we have a lot of Pokeballs. Is this the Youngster Joey? Because he hasn't said anything about his top percentage Rattata yet. Alright, well, I guess it's in the original Gold and Silver that he says something about that top percentage rat attack. A pseudo Wudo. Definitely gonna switch out, because I have Mud Slap on. on. Goops. Flail, doesn't do anything to me. Mud Slap, almost a one shot. Cool. Hopping my mud slap. Now this could be a little scary. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I would. I did get a little scared there. Not gonna lie. All right, a Beldum. I must switch out just so I could get more experience. A Beldum cannot do anything to me because all it has is takedown. Get, get a nice stretch in there. Ooh, Beldum with the, the hail? Snow warning, yeah, that's what it's called. Alright. The only thing is, I can only hit this thing with Hound since. Actually, no, it doesn't have Levitate. So I should be able to hit it with, with the Mud Slap. Alright. Alright, this one should kill. If not, the hell will kill it. And we could proceed. Yep. Cool. I'm a level 6. Honestly, having a fully evolved Pokemon is nice. We could just do this. Just walk around her. I just want to get the encounters. I could come back and battle these trainers anytime I want. Alright, an encounter pretty much in the last tile I was going to step on. And it's a Smurgle. 
I could just take this out with Emma. No need to switch it out. Ooh, that's static. And now it's gonna start sketch the peck. And quick attack. Okay, Smurgle with static is not bad at all. And I do have antidote, I mean not antidotes of poison heals. I mean paralyzed heals, sorry, my bad. I did get one. So I'll use that right now. Take care of my Pokemon, you know? Oh. Alright, let's go up here. I think this is a new route. It is indeed a new route. So let's go over here. And our first encounter, Route 31, is going to be... A niggly buff. I'll catch it. Just to have it that fodder if I ever really need it. Quick attack, should he kill it? Never mind. Alright, well, can't say I didn't try. I wasn't overly excited about the Eagly buff, but you know what? I want to get this cave encounter here. So, welcome to the dark cave, guys. Oh, look, there's a little thin sparse right there, so I'm just gonna. Just gonna move in here, just straight up and down. Alright, here's our next encounter in the dark cave. Hopefully, it's something good. Okay, a Kecleon, depending on its ability, it would say what if it's a good or a bad thing. So again, just gonna go for a peck. Astonish, yeah, it's not gonna affect me. One more peck should be able to kill it. Scratch. Now I'm gonna... S I meant to switch to my Pokemon. I was gonna switch out to Goops, so it wouldn't damage me. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. <laughs> How unfortunate. Oh well, it is what it is, guys. A shell bell. I think that heals me after I do damage? My shell was already in my back. Alright, shell bell. Yeah, the holy restores a little HP damage. You know what? I'm gonna give that to Emma. Yeah, let's move on. I'm just gonna go around you. I just really want the encounters, I'm sorry. We have a team of two right now. It's not a bad team of two at all. Let's see what we can get. So we're getting stopped right here, all right. What's her name again? Lyra or Lyra. I got the versus recorder. I was gonna call her Shauna, but now that's Gen 5. That's Gen 6. <laughs> Alright, look at her with her Meryl. That's a Corsula. Alright, 12 minutes left in the episode. We could still get a bunch of encounters. I think there's one for sure in the Bellsprout Tower, which is straight up ahead. I want to get the ones in the ruins. I believe you could get one down here too. Let's go down here. I think you could get, yeah, okay. Grass right here. Route 32. Let's hope for something good. But also something catchable. And something I don't want to write on. <gasps> this. This is amazing. Okay, I'm going to use Rage because it's a low, low attacking move. Oh, 
but now the now the more he hits me the more my rage starts building up and the stronger the move is so i could go for one more rage without worrying because he didn't attack me there and i'm getting healed by the shell bell even though it's just one hp okay clear that's fine i could go for one final one because rage can't i, I don't want to say anything but rage can't kill this thing It just keeps leering me. All right, I'm gonna switch out to Goops and make sure I don't run away. All right, we have so many balls for this. No, I don't want to use that. I want to use Pokeball. All right, I need this Chimchar. One, two, three. First ball. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. So, I'm gonna nickname this Goku. Just because of the anime references, all the cross cross anime and Japanese lore references. This, I mean, Infernape is based off of Goku. Alright. That's a sick encounter. That's a sick encounter. Let's see what Goku has. It's Calm Nature. The Water Veil. Prevents Pokemon from getting burned. I mean, it's gonna level up. Down in attack and up in special defense, though. I mean, it's fine. We could work with it. It's a physical attacker, though, but Infernape. Infernape. Oh, okay. If you guys saw the last series when they had Charizard and they had the Winged Dragon of Ra on it, this time I'll have Goku on the on the layout. <laughs> okay, the the ruins are this way, I believe. So let's go get. I think we have the ruins as an encounter, and then we also have. The actual bell sprout tower. We could get something in there. Have eight minutes left in the video, according to my timer. I know I started the timer a little bit after my introduction. Let's go down here. And we could get these final encounters here and basically wrap up the episode. Oh, that infernape. Well, potential infernape. All right, the ruins of Elf. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. No, I can't. All right, I guess it's that one with the big hole in it, right? All right, let's walk in here. Let's pray for something good. Dude, I want a Lucario. I want a Lucario. All right. Let's just walk around or run. Okay, first encounter. It is gonna be... Goops! All right, it's Dukes. It's Dukes. I could run away and encounter new Pokemon. Alright. What are these statues, Rhyhorns? Alright. Let's see what this is now. Real. A real encounter. Goops! Alright. I know that there's other Pokemon in here. It just I guess Goops is the common one. Dude, just give me a dark ray. Give me a dark ray. That's all I asked for. Okay. That's not a dark ray. I mean, I'll try to catch this. Because what if we find a warm pool or a. Uh, what's oh, it? Silken in this case. In the future, as a future encounter, I could use the species clause and re encounter. Alright, so this thing just going to go for Absorb. It's also 
pretty early on pretty good Pokemon. Alright, so now I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at this. Okay. Wrong bag, but at least I didn't run away from it. Staying in the ball, I see. I can't believe I cut that Chimchar first ball, too. Alright, here you go. One, two, three. Caught it. Alright, cool. So let's nickname this Beauty Fly. So it's a male Beauty Fly. I'm gonna name this thing Adam. As long as my emulator doesn't like too much, I could easily get to the Bellsprout Tower and get that last encounter. Yo, it's another beauty fly. I should probably check. Oh, so this beauty fly has frisk. What does mine have? So Adam has a naughty nature. Honey got. Okay. You do have the honey trees in this. Actually, do we? Because this is a Gen 2, technically. It's a Gen 4, but it's a Gen 2, you know? Alright, we're just gonna go all the way to the to the tower of the Bell Sprouts. And then we're gonna end the episode off with that encounter. If you guys were hyped about this one hour of power, leave a comment in the premiere chat if you're here, or in the video itself if you're watching this afterwards. Yo, I'm excited for this. I'm, ex I'm mostly excited once I stop, you know, lagging the emulator. But I'll figure that out. If you guys have any tips for that too, leave it down below. Or send me a DM at Twitter, at Gaming on Twitter. If you guys have any tips for that. I do have all the frames up. I like basically pushed the plus button like until I couldn't improve the quality of the frames. Uh, that's fine, you know. Just get this final cave encounter. I'm actually gonna, is that the gym? Yeah, I believe that's the gym. So I'm gonna go heal up. And then we're gonna go over to the cave. I mean, not the cave, to the tower. All right, so here you go. Take all my Pokemon. Plum, 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 plum. All right, let's get out of here. We got three minutes, essentially, till the end of the episode. Sir, move out of the way. All right, I'll just move away from you. I want this encounter to be powered too, though. So we made it into the Sprout Tower. Are you a trainer person? No, not a trainer person. Excuse me, monk. I need, I need I need to get the Pokemon in here. Is there Pokemon on this floor? I really don't know. Alright, I guess I have to fight you. So we'll end the episode with the encounter, that's for sure. I should probably have um Chimchar up front. Nurse Joe, Kabutops. Okay, I'm actually switching to Adam because Adam has Absorb and that's four times effective against this Kabutops. So 
Scratch doesn't do much at all. All it has is Absorb. Wow. To be fair, it's not a bad move on it early on. Just hard and she's not gonna do anything because I believe Absorb is special in this game. All right, I'm a level seven. Adam grows a couple, greens a couple experience and a mud kit. So I'm just gonna stay in. No point in switching out at this point. All right, this absorb did not kill, but it did half. Pretty decent amount of damage. And Mudkip should be taken out right now. Alright, Adam grew to level 6. And a Snubble. I'm actually going to Emma. I'm just gonna use Peck. A scary face, it's fine. And there you go, still taken care of. So there's like a couple seconds left in here, but I just would want to end the episode with the encounter. So let's get this item here at the Sprout Tower. A black belt, so I could actually give that to Infernape once he, you know, becomes an Infernape. I have to fight this guy, really? Welcome to the more than one hour of power. I didn't think I was going to be able to record a whole hour, but dang. A zigzagoon. Right, I'm going to try to bring in Goku. And growl. Alright, cool. Pack. I should kill, and it did. All right, Cacnea. Do I have Ember on Goku? I doubt it, but let's 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 just bring him out. I do have Scratch on it, so I'm just gonna scratch this thing to death. Poison Sting, and of course I get poison. Come back, Goku. Good thing I still have those paralyzed heals. Peck should kill at this point. Yep. And I heal too. Goku with third experience and a Mothum. Alright, this Peck should kill again. Cool. Emma's putting in the work. Emma level 8. Alright, I need to remember not to forget to heal up my Chimchar because I want this Chimchar to live forever. Use the antidote on Goku. Alright, come on, let's climb up. I wonder how Dodrio Do climbs up the stairs. Okay, there's a Pokeball right there. A water stone, okay. So if we ever get like a stone evolution Pokemon, we could evolve it. Okay, All right. we're gonna end this here with the encounter, guys. And it is a... <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? This was definitely worth the wait. I'm going to beautify. Adam's not that strong, so Absorb should not kill. I know it's four times weak, but Adam should not kill this thing. This thing's pretty bulky. Oh my gosh, I need the Swampert. Okay, cool. I could go for like two more Absorbs. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna I'm go for a ball. Oh my gosh, I need to catch this. I, I'm gonna catch this thing. I have the item. Oh, man. What's up? Cool. That's why I'm not switching into Goops. Because I knew he was gonna have a ground type move. Tackle. Oh my god. 
I have a bunch of Pokeballs. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, okay, the team is starting to look good. Swampert, I'm gonna name this Swampert after my brother Christian. He wanted the Infernape, but I was like, Dango, because just a good name. But Swampert is also for power. Where's Chris? Ian. I know it's a female, but still. Yo. Guys, let's just check this guy's ability. So it has Jolly, so it has special speed down in the attack. Solar power boosts his special attack but lowers HP and sunshine. Ah, uh, it could be better. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take Christian. With that being said, guys, thank you guys all for watching. If you stayed all the way through the premiere, leave leave that down below in the chat. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this series because I'm having as much fun. I'm having so much fun with this. Even if the emulator is lagging a little bit, the encounters we got is amazing. Thank you guys all for watching. See you guys on Wednesday. That being said, peace. King out.